Hello? There we go. It wasn't recognizing my device. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> they didn't hear anything on the stream. <laughs> ah! Oh, well. I will, uh... I'll just have to edit all that in later. <laughs> I don't want to repeat myself again. Okay. 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 So. You guys want to pull up the map. Should be ready to go. What's the name of the map? If you double click on your uh, token on the top left, it should just bring it up for you. I think it's the top right. Top right? I think so. In my screen, all your uh, character portraits are on the top left. Hmm. Alright, and so we will just have to be joined by Freddy a little bit later. Um, but yeah. So, you guys are here, right outside that church. You guys are here, right outside that church, um, where the roaming band of kobolds was going around, and there's a group at the front trying to knock in the doors, and then there's also a group in the back that is trying to burn, try to start it on fire, but they are making a whole lot of smoke, so that's why you can't see them anymore. Uh, the map is also in grayscale because it is still yet dark out. Um, dimly lit. And Freddy has been trying to cast fairy fire on these forms inside. And last time, um, he actually, because um, we were still doing the volatile magic, last time he uh, he failed the roll, which caused a burst of light. But, as you all know, um, I'm scrapping that now, because I was going through a whole lot of, like, simulations and numbers and everything. I just, I just didn't like how they were looking, um, especially over the course of leveling up, so I'm going to be scrapping with that. Um... So magic will be cast as normal from now on for every class. Um, not to mention that all the kobolds inside the smoke you actually can't see because they are heavily obscured. So the fairy fire will actually definitely go off. Fantasy ground is kind of slow for some reason. All right, are you guys ready? Oh yeah, for combat. <laughs> So everybody go ahead and roll initiative for me. Retreat. <laughs> and it hung up on a 19 and just rolled over. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you guys will get a surprise round. Um, Freddy actually goes first, so he, so what happens is he he kind of starts strumming his instrument, strums a few chords, and then all of a sudden some some bursting energy shoots forth, blanketing the area inside the smoke, um, and then you actually see some uh, some some lights from inside the smoke outlining some figures. At which point, Freddy. Let's see, what does he want to do? So he is going to attempt to jump over this low wall. So 5, 10, 
And then 15, 20, 25, 30. I'll just open that up for simplicity. And he will do vicious mockery at the closest creature. Oh my goodness. Success on a, ra on a natural 20. And we go to Brother Cole. You're very quiet. Yeah, that's much better. Side further, um, like I had this blocked off before. I if I can yeah. There we go. Where it's blocked off, that is heavy. Okay. So you have to be 15 feet away in order to actually see anything within the smoke. Okay. Um, so I'm just gonna follow. Not. Gets him inside the smoke, he still can't really see anything, right? I mean, uh, see you might Freddy. Be, you might be able to see focus If that's 15 feet away. Yeah. Um, there we go. Yep. 
thanks to their Alright, to knock. Okay, uh, so just clarification. You can only see them from within that circle? Yes. Alright, and then the kobolds would be completely obscured in that square, but you can see the cultists. Okay, so everything within this circle is the smoke. Okay. So it's obscuring view. In order to see anything when you're within this circle, you have to be 15 feet away or less. So you're more than 15 feet away from everything, so you can't see. Oh, sure. It's heavily obscured, which means that you, you can't see. Like if you're in smoke, you're surrounded by smoke, you can't see a certain range away from you. Right. No. All right, I'm just gonna stop there, I guess. us back to Freddy. Freddy is going to attack Vicious Mockery once more. And he fails. Occultist successes. Attempt to stab Knox from around the corner, so you'll take a minus two for that. And he misses. Cobalt 14 will. This one's going to turn around right as his body is kind of enveloped in all this uh, magical violet illusionary flame. Tensions around and move five, ten, fifteen right here and make a strike on the bottom bar. Still moving smells and he's a smells for some He does get an advantage for this. Get cool. So a dagger attack against Ondar with a twenty hits. <laughs> Cobalt, man. <laughs> It's the fucking advantage. Four damage. Double 13. Same thing. He will turn his attention around. Seeing these figures coming at them in the flames. Wide, eyes wide open. Gives a little scream. And then he stabs wildly at Pondar. With advantage. And he misses. Knocked. You are up. Try to take down this cultist, I think. Yeah. Yeah, there's no point in going two-hand right now. Alright, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and swing at cultist four. Uh, an 18 should should hit. Oh, come on, big damage. 
Alright, alright, I'll take 13. This is a pretty big damage. <laughs> 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 Holy crap. <laughs> um. And then. Nah, Cole will be fine for one turn. Out. I was gonna dead step in, but well, I still I couldn't. Uh, I don't want to put it on top of Colt's four because then I'll never be able to grab him properly. But I would like to move into the same space as his corpse, if possible. Yeah. Okay. I'm just gonna put him there, and hopefully that'll be fine. And uh, brace myself to get stabbed <laughs> instead of the little man with who's not wearing any armor. Not that I am, but. You don't need it. Uh, I think that is re sorry, reading real quick all the tabs I open. Yeah, that, that is me. Alright. Take a step up. Stab at Ondar. And he gets a hit with a twenty. <laughs> dealing four damage. Bah. Cultus four is down. Cobalt 11. We'll turn Come on. Into... Come on. <laughs> no, he's going to throw this at. Pile on on dark. At Freddy. Or not Freddy. Uh, knocked. He will fit a, a, a bullet to his sling. A quick release. Missing. Volomir, you are up. Volomir will walk forward as to about right here. He'll look at the Cobalt 14 and then uh, he'll cast Sacred Flame on it. All right. He fails. You are successful in casting. Two damage to the Cobalt. That'll be a turn. All right. Cultist six. Step forward and attack Ondar. And he rolls a 10, missing. Cultist 5. Loop around. 15, 20. 25. And he will attack Polomir. And he rolls a 22. That is a hit. Dealing two damage. Ondar, you're up. Uh, Ondar is going to do, 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 swing his longsword at Cobalt. Oh, pick one. Uh, 12. All right. That's a hit. Really? Four damage. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that will be his turn. Ah. Nothing. Hello, hello. Yep. Hey, there he is. All right, so quick rundown. Um, so uh, I scrapped the rules for the volatile magic. Um, so your cast went off, outlining one, two, three, four. I think uh, it was four of the creatures in the fairy fire, and they are fighting now. If you want to oh, open up. We, uh, oh, so we aren't, we aren't taking the failure then? No. Okay. Uh, let me pull up the Twitch stream real quick. Oh, your computer's still not working? Uh, so I'm actually building it, like, as I speak. I got oh, home just okay. a touch early and I tried to throw it together, but it didn't work out. Okay. Um, quick. <laughs> Question: When the cultist entered my uh, my range, I should have had an attack of opportunity, correct? You mean when he left it? Okay. Yeah, sorry. that's the way. It, that's the way it goes. Yeah, cultist five. Sorry, I, I ran to grab a drink or what? It probably says him, but yeah, cultist five would have, would have had to disengage to get past you two. No, because he went like he went around like this. Oh, he went. Okay, yeah, he he had the movement for that. Didn't yeah, he? Yeah. Take a shot, so. Gotcha. I assumed he diagonaled. <laughs> Clever. Clever fucker. Is my heroism still okay. active as well? Yes. Excellent. 
Yeah, because it, it, it lasts for a minute, and we did have to wait for a little bit for the cultists to go by, so it should have, like, mm -hmm. 40 seconds at least left on it still. Yep, Nox still has the, uh, the temp yeah. HP. That is a hit. Okay. All right. Five damage. Alright, and then the, that'll be my turn. Alright, Freddy, you are up. Alright, we got here. Uh, I'm going to uh, attempt to viciously mock the uh, cultist that is just to the, the north of um, Nox. Okay. So he is right around the corner. That will take a uh, penalty for cover. Oh, I see. Okay, never mind. Uh, then I'll go for the other cultist that is on the top right corner of um, Ondar. That will also take a penalty being covered by the cult. All right, then I'll take that one. Okay. Vicious and mockery. He rolls a 10, that is a failure. Yes. A fit of laughter racks over the cultist. Or no, uh, you unleash a string of insults laced with subtle and Yes. Okay. And, uh, I heard his feelings. Yep. <laughs> he whispers something about your mother. That roll makes you look fat. <laughs> okay. Disadvantage on the next attack roll. And you roll the d4. Yeah, okay. Yep. I see it. One damage. Yay, one, da one damage. <laughs> Join the club. Anything else? Uh, I'm going to take one step back. One square. And then I will continue my concentration for the heroism on Noct and end my turn. Brother Cole, you're up. You're muted. Could you, um, I'm still targeted again. Disengage. I'm gonna target the corbel closest to me. Take a jab with it. Is he really quiet, or is it just me? Yeah, he's really quiet. I think my mic better not go. That is a hit. Money. Dealing four damage. That is a tanky kobold. He'll uh, try to uh, do a attack real quick here. Thirteen should hit. Plus five it should hit. It's going slow. Yep, that's a hit. Alright, he is dead. And then he is going right here. And then he's going to be Alright. One second. Somebody's playing some dance music. <laughs> <laughs> I noticed Fanny's Grant was being a little uh, laggy this morning. I sort of, sort of cleaned up as we kept going, but yeah, seems like maybe their servers are a little jumbled. But then all of a sudden uh, it stopped and now it's back. Yeah. All right, Cultist Seven. We make an attack against Not once more, and he rolls a twelve, which misses. Cobalt Fourteen. Is now going to turn his attention to Brother Cole, right in front of him. He gets advantage for this. He will stab at your leg, hitting with an 18, dealing three damage. 
Put in 13 is dead. Knocked, you're up. Mm, I think I'm just for now. You also, well, uh, due to heroism, um, you get some temp HP. You have temp Starting HP your turn. It, your it's a flat HP. number, right? I don't roll for for that, right? No, yes, it's, uh, uh, it's my charisma. It's based off my yeah, charisma. Yeah, so it's three. So you still right. have three. Tem temp HP doesn't stack though; it just replaces. Yep. So I'm already at max. Yep. Since nobody has touched me yet, uh, let's just. Yeah, no, let's just return the favor on that. I don't... I'm gonna recklessly attack. Boy, it seems like it would be a bad decision. Except these kobolds all have freaking advantage anyway, so I... You can't give them uh, double advantage. Exactly. Oh, I get to do it after the roll, but before I... Wait. First attack of turn, you decide to attack recklessly. Then you do advantage. No, it doesn't say anything about doing it after the roll, so, uh... Screw it. Yeah, I'm gonna recklessly attack Cult of Seven. That's good, because one of those was a two. <laughs> but I'll take that 17 gladly. That is a hit. Uh, four. Come on, big. Oh, you <laughs> Four damage. It's contagious, man. <laughs> Monstrous. Monstrous roll. Now, uh... Yeah, that is gonna be that. <laughs> That's an unfortunate amount of damage. Alright, uh, 12 boy. is going to attack Ondar with his little dagger. And he misses. Cultist 4 is dead. Cobalt 11. Throw fit another bolt to his sling. Shoot at Noct, which hits with a 21. Doing two damage. Qualamir, you are up. I hear him with some shield. <laughs> uh, Palmer will take out his mace and swing at Cultus 5. And that is a hit. Doing two damage. That'll be his turn. Cultist 6 is going to attempt to stab at Ondar. I don't like this guy very much. <laughs> disadvantage. For... He has disadvantage. Is that part of Fairy Fire too? No, it's no, a vicious mockery. Just mockery. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, thank you for reminding. You missed. Yep, that, uh, yeah. Yeah, either way. All right. Sweet. Cultist 5 is now going to swing at Qualamir. And that is a miss. Ondar, you are up. Um, still glaring at the human. I'm assuming the cultist is a human. Ondar is going to uh, instead strike Cobalt 12 or try to again. Alright. And, um. Yes. Yeah. There we go, 11 damage. He falls down to the ground. Hunter's going to uh, step where the cobalt is, the dead cobalt. Okay. And he's going to look at the human and say, uh, Why are you pairing with these cr evil creatures? You may want to get rid of that cobalt so I don't get hung up on it. I'll get rid of some of these guys. And he's not paying any attention to Cobalt 14 at all. <laughs> Tanakh, you yeah. All right. Um, I'm just going to go for Cultus 5 again. Did Cultus 5 not take a turn? Oh, he missed. Yeah, he, he, uh... Yeah, he missed. Yeah. He sucks. <laughs> or she. I mean... <laughs> never know. I uh, can't assume their gender. Bolt. So you are casting nice. a range spell right next to him, so that takes a disadvantage. Hey. Did you hear me? 
Yeah. Yep. Okay, that still hits. Hey. Nice. Six Falls down in the burning heat. Alright. And I'm gonna end my turn now. Freddy, you are up. Uh, two cobalts are still up, right? Uh, you can't tell because they're too far away. You can't see that far. Even if they're fairy fire lit. So, um, anything more than 15 feet away is heavily obscured, which means you don't have vision. So you wouldn't even. Gotcha. Then. Yeah. Okay, then I want to move up. Uh, so two squares to the right. right. Yes, yeah, so looking around, um, you see one cultist is still up, cast in fairy light, and there is one kobold locked in melee with Andar and Brother Cold. Alright, I'd, li I'd like to focus that oh. cobalt then. Cobalt, okay. I'm gonna, yep, gonna viciously mock him as well. You whispered words about his mother. Yes. Ooh, 20. His, his ancestors were salamanders. <laughs> oh. That's Ooh. horrible because they think they're dragons. <laughs> yeah. But, so what, he succeeded the save? Yeah, I can't he got a read. 20. Okay. He's like, no, they weren't. <laughs> My ancestors were dragons. <laughs> All right, uh, then end my turn. All right. It takes us to Brother Cole. Okay, he's gonna do what he does. Ooh, critical hit. There we go. 11 damage. He is down and dead. Falling from a gaping wound. He will make a strike against the focus. Alright. Dead. Oh, that's from the other one. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Hey. Hit. All right. So, Cultist 7 will make another Shimitar attack against Noct, this time with advantage. For the reckless swing. And he rolls a nine, which is a miss. Man, you are hard to hit today. Go ahead, suck your to turn. Suck hard. <laughs> Temp HP. Do you, does Freddy actually say that? Yes. <laughs> it sucks to suck, nerd. <laughs> right, and uh feeling pretty good about that temp HP, even if it's not rage, uh, I'm going to reckless attack again, because I'd like this guy to die soon. So here we go. Ooh, wrong panel. There we go. Ooh, there we go. 23 for 23. a hit. Dude's dead. Well, you never know with the D12. D12s can be all. Hey, there's a big damage though. 13 damage. Falls down. The scary thing about great axes, man, you can hit for one or 12. Like that's a big, yeah, big wide net you cast. Uh, normally I would step up, but with disadvantage this turn, I'm gonna hold. I think. Eh. Well, ten. Undar looks okay. He's down to one more turn until yeah. this disadvantage oh. goes away. Fine. Fine. <laughs> I've torn on my side. The true. All right. Kobold 11. Now seeing a new adversary come into his way. Drops his sling, pulls out a dagger, and attempts to stab at Brother Cole. 
And he does get advantage for this. And he hits on a 21. Dealing four damage. Stabbing you across Rude. the leg. Walamir, you are up. Walamir. Then targets cultist number six. All right. And has a sacred flame. All right. And he fails his save. Dealing three damage. Nice. And that'll be a turn. All right. Cultist six. Responds back to you, Andar, from your. Would you call that a rebuke, I guess? My query. Or your yes. query. <clears throat> he, uh, he looks at you and, and kind of goes, and spits to the side, and he's like, Enough talking! And then he uh, makes an attack against you. Okay. And he misses. But looking at him, he looks he looks worried right now. He was not anticipating um, any resistance like this. Resistance is futile. Yes, Andar, you are up. Oh, oh your base art belonged to us. <laughs> <laughs> Andar will uh, will swing his sword at him, but he's going to attempt to hit him with the flat of the blade and not kill him. He wants to talk to this guy before he kills him. All right, so this is a non-lethal blow. That is a hit. For eight damage, he is down and unconscious, knocked from, on the head from the pommel of your sword. And then he will step to here. Okay. Tap the cobalt on the shoulder and say hi. <laughs> All right, to knock. You can barely discern Qualamir's form from inside the smoke. Okay. Um, if I step to the edge of the, the smoke circle, can I see outwards towards our east? Uh, I would say you can see well enough from where you are that you would be able to see to the east a little bit. But if you uh, go all the way to the east side of the, the eastern corner, then yes, you would be able to see up and, up and to the east. Okay. Uh, would I be able to see anything coming our way from right here? Uh, looking around, you do not spot anything. Go ahead and make a perception roll for me. don't hear anything above the sounds of battle from inside the smoke. Barely discernible above the, uh, the noises coming from the northern end of the church. Okay. So then, now that I can't see anybody coming from uh, that are going to flank us, I'm going to go back towards the... Uh, into the smoke and end my turn. All right. Freddy, you're up. There is one kobold still alive. I'd like to move one square to the right behind, uh, behind Noct. All right. I'd like to say we must hurry, gents. The uh, roving group is going to be here soon, I'm sure. And then uh, I'd like to viciously mock the kobold. All right. What do you say? Yeah, Better run, little girl. <laughs> he fails. <laughs> he gives a little squeak. And then he looks around fearfully. Four damage. Maximum. Go to Brother Cole. Psychically cripple him. Mm. Scar him for the rest of his meager life. Which is not going to be very long. <laughs> Uh, 
that is a hit. He is dead. Now, how bad is this? How bad is what? The fire. The fire? Um, it's it really hasn't caught at all. The they're doing more smoking the area out than they are catching anything on flames. Um, the okay. back of the building has a, like a, a few little like black marks from uh, burning shit nearby, but um, the only thing that has actually caught fire is like straw and uh, stuff like that, which is causing more smoke than anything. But there, there is like a way to get inside the church. There's a back door that appears to be barred. From the inside, I take it? Yes. Do I see like a window or anything like that? Do, or um, around? The, the, the windows would be shuttered. Um, if you want to listen to the door, you can. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. All right. Make me a perception. You hear some uh, whimpering um, coming from inside and then uh, hushed voices. I would like to move uh, to the left, kind of towards the edge of the smoke, and peek around the side of the building. All right. And see how close that roving group is. So Freddy turns the corner to see the like I want to I want to try to use the smoke to like conceal yep. me. Yep, I got you there just so that you can see. But uh okay. You see no. that yeah. All, all right. <laughs> you see you see the roving band kind of kind of moving back and forth excitedly uh, making its round turning the corner in probably two more minutes they will be on you. Okay. Uh so I'm going to back up like square 2. And then I want to use press digitation to make the sound of a cracking stick in the woods, like opposite from us, like where we were hiding kind of earlier. Okay. Not, um, not like where, not where we attacked from, but where we like we came from. Yeah, like up where your mouse north. was. Okay. Yeah. So make it seem like something is in there. Okay. So Freddy casts press digitation. In the uh, northwestern area of the woods, making a loud cracking sound like a like someone moving through the woods. At which, let's see, their perception. Oh, that's kind of low. <laughs> that's that cultist lying on the ground. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> At which the uh, the the big lizard-like creatures, uh, the lizard wolf type things, I guess you could say, the big scaly um, wolf-sized creatures. Um, scaly boys. Yep, the scaly boys turn their heads, and then they start. Uh, they they make a weird hissing sound. At at which the roving band kind of turns excitedly towards the woods. And then you see them pointing in that direction. I, I go back into the smoke. Okay. And I tell my friends, I bought us some time, but not a whole lot. Band, that band's almost on us. I'm going to try to whisper through the door um, just loud enough people in just letting them know that help is here and took out the cultist in the back. We're gonna we're gonna help them get out of here safe. Alright, so you whisper kinda of through the door, um, and a voice does respond and it says you uh, you're lying. Get away. Who are you? Uh what was the Guy's name that's not just the town leader. Escobert was kind of like the steward. He was the dwarf, and then there was Governor Nighthill. Okay. Um, well, I guess I mentioned both their names. They sent us. We were from the keep. They sent us to come help. The dragon flew off. So 
We're going to try to get you guys to the keep. And then uh, you kind of see... You kind of see a, a, a little, like, peephole kind of open, and then a, an eye looks out at you and, and looks around uh, really excitedly wide open in fear. And then uh, it kind of takes the measure of you and says, uh, uh, Quick, 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 everybody! And then uh, you uh, you hear some shuffling and scuffling as, as, as the voice says, Quick, move, move it out of the way! Move it out of the way! And then the door opens up, and then you see a, uh, um, a villager kind of usher you in with his hand. Quick, quick, quickly, get inside. And then you also hear from the west voices now. All right, boys, go and go and see what's out there. As the roving group kind of goes over the low wall and investigates the woods for a time. If we're going in the church, right. Andar's yeah. going to grab whatever he can of the cultist hair, cowl, shoulder, foot, whatever, and drag him into the building. All right. I'm going to make sure that none of the kobolds that we killed were outside of the smoke, like purposely putting them towards the center. Okay. So they get spotted less easy from the roving band. All right. Less, less easily. That's the way I meant. All right, so do you guys move in, into the church, or are you staying outside? Go outside. Inside. All right. I, I follow the group. I'm no good all my, on my own. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Moving inside, there is a dismal sight. <clears throat> Dozens of town folk have barricaded themselves inside this temple. Um, looking around, go ahead and make me a religion check, everyone. I'd make one if I could. Not my strong suit here. Can I request a new, uh, die? <laughs> <laughs> Change that color, man. Alright, so, Brother Ko... And Andar, um, as well as Freddy, recognize some symbology and regalia of Chantea. So this is a temple to Chantea. Um, raiders have it surrounded, and they're trying to set fire and trying to get inside. Um, and there are some villagers looking definitely the worst for wear, frightened, huddled with each other, um, kind of on the floors in the pews and everything around this area. Inside, I then say scared as shit. I then say to everyone, I distracted the band. They're off in the woods right now. If we want to leave, now is probably our best chance. They're, uh, they're looking around um, fearfully. Uh, make me a perception check, Freddy. Oh, yeah, you uh, Okay. I, I would... I would love to. There we go. <laughs> so you're looking around, and all you, all you can see is frightened villagers, basically. Is there anyone that looks to be the priest or priestess? Go ahead and make me perception, Andar. Oh, joy. Can I roll an investigation? Hear that out? Sure. No, oh, they all look scared to me. No, oh, you're all of one. Well... All right. Whoever's in charge here, we have an opportunity to get you to safety. Andar will say. All right. With so his, uh, with, his, with his foot on the throat of the cultist. The um. The the villager that that let you inside, he he kind of shakes his head nervously. Ah, ah, yes. And then points you in the direction of. Okay, he points you in the direction of a uh, half-elf, a robed half-elf creature. He says, ah, it, it's talk to Aiden. And then he points you over to that man. Who I will put him. Where, where is he? OK, 
Okay. <clears throat> over in the corner, over here, you see a uh, robed half elf um, kind of bending down over some of the villagers. And the, uh, the guy that let you in kind of points over in his direction. I like to pull up my loot and start playing some soothing music and humming gently. All right. Ungar will uh, smack the cultist to make sure that he's unconscious still and move over to the half-elf. <laughs> so you smack him, and his his voice, his uh, his face just kind of moves from the slap but does not open or wake. <laughs> you. All right, bye. Are you the leader of the people here? He turns his head to you and... Uh, with no recognition and kind of surprised in his eyes. Uh, uh, yes, you, you might say that. Um, I'm trying to pro provide sanctuary as best I can. We can get you to the keep, but we must hurry. And then he, uh, he looks at you with confusion. Uh, you want you want us to leave? You have, you have a safe route? At that, yes. you hear a loud crack at the front. The front doors. Um, where is this? Like the door busted in? No, you just, you just you just hear a loud crack. Oh, there we go. Okay. I got it. Give me one second to set this up. All right, you hear a loud crack at the front doors, and then uh, some jeering and ah, coming from the from the northern end. And then Aiden looks over and he says, "Oh, oh my, uh, yes, that 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 would be a good idea. Uh, we should get out of here now. It, it appears they're trying to break the front down." Yes, go south to the creek. Straight south. Do not vary. Um, everybody make me a perception check. Cool, man. Oop. Need to change my dice. All right. So, uh, Freddy, Noct, and Brother Cole, you all hear... Um, the sounds of the roaming band kind of turning the corner. Um, they are now in the southern end. At the southern end of the church. We are too slow. They're making Pack another round. I hear them outside. There's another crack at the I, front. I, yeah. I, th I then go to the back door and ensure that it is closed. Yes, the back door is closed. As far as best as you can tell, there is no difference to anyone uh, walking around. Okay. <clears throat> Ungar will tell the, the priest to get his people ready as soon as this group passes. It will be an opportunity to escape. He says, ah, uh, yes, I, 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 will, I will get them ready. And then you see him uh, kind of moving around, talking to everybody. And there's another crack. Does it look like they're fixing to gain access from the north door? Uh, yes. Looking at the front, you can see um, every crack is, a, is accompanied with a big movement in the doors. Um, they're holding for now, but you're not sure how many more it could take. I'm going to ask for a quick help to start moving some pews to help reinforce the door. Just to buy us some more time. Uh, are you asking for help from the other people or the villagers? No, from the... Uh, um, probably ask, let's see, Andar or... Uh, I'm, I'm holding the back oh. door closed. Okay, I'd ask not. I can move a bunch of that. <laughs> Alright, another crack. Um, I'm going to go by the front door and ready a reaction for... 
my flame cone. I forget what it's called. Um, burning hands. All right. You can now see cracks in the door, large enough to see through, in which you can see some of the forms huddling outside. What can I see? Uh, it's loading right now. Okay, there we go. So you see um, outside there are these I figures. I suggest to put the pews in the way of the door. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm pretty sure that's what they were working on. So let's see. <clears throat> the roving band. Um, moves about giving a wide enough berth around the uh, around the church that they don't actually go into the smoke. Um, they're kind of just letting that group do its own thing. Yep. Are you watching out the doorway, Freddy? It's it's closed. Is there like a slot that I can? Yeah. There was a peephole. I'll I'll look through the peephole. Okay. What's the password? There is another loud boom at the front. And you're looking outside. Um, you don't see anything through the smoke. Make me a perception check, though. So you got... Oh, he rolled a one. All you hear is the, uh, the burning noises. The crackling okay. of flames. You said that there was a hole in the front of the building now, right? Yes, there are cracks yeah. large enough that you can see through. I uh, can, I cast, we've identified that there's, that, that, this is the kobolds, just, that has that, this just has the battery in him, right? Yes. Can I cast light at the kobolds? Um, through one of the cracks? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Take that. I'm how big is that, girl. how big is that, uh, I'm, 20 foot. All right. Big old ball of light. Yep, yep. Right, light in a 20 foot radius. radius. Okay. I want to send it right on them. So you send it straight out, <clears throat> at, at which point you hear some uh, audible um, surprised noises, like, rah, rah. and then you hear uh, a human voice going, Oh, they got, a, they got some casters in there, eh? Hurry up, double time. Get that door down! You hear a large thud. Under would tell the priest to get to the front of the line and lead his people straight south, find the creek. Go west. He says, uh, are, are, are you coming with? I'm not sure I can, I'm not sure I can lead them all by myself. Freddy will lead you. Uh, I will. Who, who, who That's what that I be? tell him, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Another large crack. If we've got all the pews moved in front of the door, um, then Andre's going to stand, you know, ready with his sword and board to meet the people when they come through. All right, so the the priest, after gathering all the people, kind of looks at you, Freddy, and says, uh, um, uh, where, where to, sir? One okay. second. Be patient. They should, like, based off their speed, they should still be just outside the smoke. Yes. It has only been um, two minutes so far. Um, judging by the time when you were watching them go around, um, you would think that right about now is when they are turning the corner. All right. Follow me. I open up the door slowly and go directly west towards the uh, the bushes. <laughs> okay. So now um, the doors at the front seem to be sagging on their hinges, and you hear uh, some excited um, voices outside, and then the, the leader again going, There you go, double time. Get those fucking doors down. Another hit. Freddy, you go outside into the smoke, which is still heavily obscured. 
Um, you yeah, make so your I'm going way like west by west. southwest-ish. Okay, so you make your way directly west by southwest, um, looking through the smoke around to the north, west, and south. You see nothing, but you hear some uh, noises and, and, and uh, hissing and excited movement coming from the east right now. Okay. Uh, I look back to make sure that the group of villagers are following me. Yes, they are right behind you. I give a short pause, and then uh, start scurrying towards the tree line. All right. So you make your way into the woods, uninterrupted, with all the villagers directly behind you. So if we see them exiting and the door hasn't buckled yet, I think we would probably begin to fall back. Yeah, I I, I would. <laughs> I don't. Another smack on the door. Big Friend, we got all that unconscious men. Oh, what are we doing with them? Do you um, want him as a pet or something? I want to talk to him. Yeah, I'll. You could probably carry him. Yeah, yeah. I'll, 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 I'll sling him up then. Yep, you're okay. definitely uh, strong enough to do that. This is a uh, dwarf. Right. Oh, the, the, the cultist is a dwarf? Yes. It's Holy not an shit. actual human. It's a dwarf. And this is not the first time I've had to carry a dwarf long distances. <laughs> right. Another loud smack on the door. Come, brother, go. They could collapse at the next impact. All right. And then I'll uh, bring this with you. You hear another loud smack as the as the doors fall and tumble inward and the uh, uh, figures rushing inside to find nothing. Um, they, they, uh, you guys are able to escape even before the back door closes on you so that they have no idea where you went. I, I want to say we didn't stop moving. Like, I kept okay. going right. with the villagers. So you are fol following in the woods... You hear some excited noises coming from inside the church. Um, confused. And are you just following the river back to the uh, the uh, secret exit? Yeah, it's the safest route. That I know of, anyway. And the most direct. Yes, yeah, so... Uh, Going to the edge of the woods, overlooking... Oh, come on. Why can't I move now? And none of the kobolds and cultists that we fought initially when we broke out of the um, secret entrance like were alive to tell the tale, right? We killed them all? Yes, you killed them all. You killed them all real fast. They didn't even go get reinforcements <laughs> or anything. <laughs> Alright, so you, uh, you go to the woods, overlooking... The river, where you see the um, little exit with the door wide open, um, nothing around to hinder you, at which point you are able to go back inside, dragging the cultist along on your back. Do I have any spell slots left? You have one left. I do? Okay. Yeah, because you, uh, you cast Heroism and then you cast Fairy Fire. Yeah, I just didn't remember if I used another one against, like, the rats or anything other earlier. No. I do not believe so. <clears throat> Alright, so you make your way back. Yeah. Let me clean some of this up real quick. tracker okay, there we go. 
So, for that encounter, let's see. You would have gotten 200 experience points total, which is 33 experience points per. Ball in. As well as. Succeeding for the Sanctuary mission, you each get 100 experience points. Booyah. And you e have, each? Yes, each. Nice. And you have, uh, you have entered the secret tunnel. <laughs> you all, I'm useless at gaming. You all get 100,000 experience points and are now gods. <laughs> <laughs> 100,000? <000. laughs> yes. Hey, that's what he said. I guess I, I guess it's got to happen now. <laughs> What's up, All right, so you are you are now inside the uh, the uh, exit for the secret entrance and may make your way inside the keep. I don't think we'd be gods. That'd put us like at level fifteen ish. Yeah. <laughs> Close enough. We'd be up there. Definitely epic adventures at that point. Go kill the bitch queen now. Nope. <laughs> Are you just yeah, going to so sit in the entrance? Or? Take this cultist into the keep and interrogate him forcibly. <laughs> or should we leave that to the constables and we go out there and try and save more people? Or that, yeah. It's just torture or heroics. <laughs> the, uh, the Torture is such a strong word. <laughs> the priest I Aiden... Like, I, I like forcibly and accurate. talk to <laughs> <laughs> the priest Aiden Aggressive is kind of looking, looking <laughs> into the darkness of the tunnel expectantly to you, Freddy. I have no idea what you said. It's because you keep talking. <laughs> <laughs> so Aiden looks, Aiden looks uh, through the darkness of the tunnel forward expectantly to you, Freddy. Uh, I, I, I don't know where this leads, sir. To the keep. Just follow it. I'm sorry, you're coming through like a robot. Let me disconnect from audio real Am quick I? and try to reconnect. Can you all hear me? I hear you fine. Okay. Yeah. But Discord gets goofy sometimes, so. Just want to make sure I'm, I can be heard. I'm, I'm having a qualm here. I'm getting a little bit of, like, static. Yeah. yeah. I'm hearing but, that, too. But that's the only thing. Hmm. Better? Hello? Yeah, I can uh, hear you. Yeah, now. don't. don't Hello? Hear this How about now? Anymore, it sounds like. A little better. Can you guys hear me? I can yes. hear you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, shit, I can't hear you. You can't hear me? Oh. <laughs> Oh, jeez. It's all fucked up. Yeah, it's Discord uh, for you something. I'm going to restart Discord. I'll be right back. All right. Um. So I'll just move you guys into the queue. So if he's worried about uh, not being able to see, Ondor will light a torch so that they can see. Okay. And just cast light. Or that. The torch. <laughs> Oh no, I'll put the light on your torch so you know, so you think it's working. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Where is this? Hey, Mimas. There we go. There's the map I want. Bondar will ask Qualamir. Um, mm -hmm. we'll say I have, I've seen clerics perform these types of actions before. Who do you worship? Mostly Ogma. I'm much more of into knowledge. Not so much of... It's through 
the warship that we also gain, we can also forgive knowledge too. It's kind of a weird symbiotic relationship. I see that you are Thorn. 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 T O R M. Yes. The loyal fury is who I worship. Sort of. Getting some stuff set up real quick. <laughs> Alright, you here, uh, Jacob? Or Sauerkraut? Hello? I don't think we might not have him. Yeah, he's just back in, but he's not said anything for a while. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on. It's frustrating. Map's not working <laughs> either. There we are. There it is. Alright, we should be there now. Yep. yep. These modules are awesome that they have it on here and everything, but I can't, f like, it's it's hard as fuck to find something specific. Mm. Hello? Yes. Yes? Hello. Oh, okay, you guys are real robotic. Can you hear me? I can hear you. You don't sound robotic. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but my phone is pretty much freaking out. I'm sorry. It happens sometimes. Where are these guys? There they are. It seems like my CPU is just acting on overdrive for some reason. I can't figure out the cause. Uh, it might be downloading like some sort of update or something in the background that I don't know about. All right. Um, can you? Um, you still good to play though? I think so. Okay. We'll we'll try. Um, so you guys get inside, um, traveling through the tunnels, and you uh, get to the. Um, to the keep entrance to the secret um, tunnel and then you are able to get back up into the keep dragging along the body behind you look for the governor or the uh... um, looking around there there's uh, some commotion outside um, up on the up on the um, walls um otherwise there is the uh actual keep um what do you call it it's that circular tower thing where do you guys want to go well, uh, head out for the walls all right yeah i don't see the governor or the uh the dwarf 
I will go into the tower to see if I can find them there. All right. So yes. I follow on Dar. Dragging the cultists. So dragging the cultists along be along behind you, you uh, you enter the little keep area, and you see the um, the Castellan Castellan Escobert as well as Tarbon Nighthill. Tarbon Nighthill seems to be uh, standing a little more upright, a little more sure of him himself and confident now. Um, he hasn't taken notice of you. He's talking with um, some other military personnel. Escobert is um, over there talking with them as well. At the sound of the door closing behind you, um, they each turn their heads and, and look to you with uh, relief in their faces. Night Hill calls to you, Ah, good, you're back. I'd like to be with Ondar. Okay. Like I followed him. I'd be with Ondar then, also. Land. Yes, Lord, we have uh, returned from... Uh, we managed to help some people escape from your temple to the God Mother, or the Earth Mother. Um, and we captured this, and he kind of like just tosses the body. Um, we captured this individual with a group trying to break into the temple. Perhaps you can find out who these people are from him. And then he says, Ah, oh, the temple was under attack? Yes. Did any villagers thought. make it? I didn't hear that last part. Did any of the villagers make sure it? Sure did, most of them. Got them all out, yes, sir. We, oh, we, good. we got them all out along with their, their priest. Good, good. He comes over and, and he uh, reaches out his hand to give you a shake. I'll shake his hand, but kind of strange for a nobleman to be treating me like this. <laughs> He's a... Uh, um, he, he looks like a sigh of, re sigh of relief on his face. And then he, he uh, shakes your hand and kind of clasps it in his other. He's, ah, uh, I, I apologize for my, my behavior earlier. Uh, I've never experienced dragon fear before. Um, but now I know. And then he uh, takes notice of the body that you're dragging behind you, and, and he says, "What's what's this? It's one of the assailants of the church. Well, I thought it wise to perhaps bring him here for you and your Castilian to find out who these people are and why they are attacking your town. He calls whilst over. We... Sorry, go on. Guys, whilst we go back out and try to uh, rescue some more citizens. Ah, that he calls over to Escobert and, and says, "Hey, dwarf! It appears your your questions have been answered. They did the very thing that we were going to ask for." And he looks at you with a uh, um, a kind of sideways smile on his face. He's like, um, "Maybe you can read minds." We were just discussing how we were going to uh, find out intel and some information on on what's going on. And we have our our prisoner now. Thank you very made much. Sense. Yes, made sense. Uh, Find yes. out what you can before you kill him. And then Escobert comes over and he says, Oh, oh, oh boy, oh, you done good. You done good. Uh, if you don't mind passing me that, that their body over there, I have some questions I want to be asking him. Unceremoniously drop him at the dwarf's feet. And Escobert um, goes through, grabs him by the leg, and drags him out. To God knows where. <laughs> and then, uh, after the unceremonious thing, let's see, you guys. Actually, get some. Did we just complete a twofer? Yep. There Ooh. we go. Okay. Hot diggity dog. So you. Twenty. Twenty-five experience <laughs> points per for that as well. Let's see. 
Level nine. Here we come. <laughs> yeah. right, we're skipping right to it. You each get 25 experience points for dropping off a prisoner. Um, <clears throat> and then Governor Nighthill um, says, says to you, um, uh, yes, we are just discussing um, our, uh, our counterattack missions, trying to figure out exactly what we want to do. And at this, we will actually pause that encounter. Um, Brother Cole and Noct, looking out over the town, um, you see in the uh, approaching dawn light, because it is now approaching dawn, out to the west, you see some uh, figures moving along that have some uh, purpose to their step. Out to the far west, almost directly west from the keep, there are uh, figures carrying torches ceremoniously to a, uh, a bigger building that appears to be a mill. Well, that is not ideal. Uh, how many, like, roughly, how many figures does it look like? Uh, let me see that real quick. Way too many dice. <laughs> Fifty-seven. So you see, uh, you see three figures. They look to be oh. humanoid. I'm gonna dash back to the keep and inform them that uh, they're up to something by the mill. All right. Oh Jesus. Mila! Quiet! Are you going to move yourself or you want me to? Oh, sorry, my bad. Alright, what do you say? We saw... what to... what appeared to be cultists uh, moving to the mill with torches, heading directly towards it. They're up to something. Would you like us to go and investigate? Uh, Night Hill looks extremely concerned at this and um, says, Oh, ah. and then he curses. Shite. We can't, we can't let them take that mill. If it burns, we'll lose our stockpile of flour. We won't be able to grind more for months. Um, I suppose I can assemble enough defenders from here, but I, I worry they might not be in time. Uh, heroes, if, if you don't mind, could you try taking care of this? And then uh, you'd be doing us a great service if you could get to the mill quickly and then drive away the raiders before they can set it aflame. At least oh, defend heroes it. heroes know our... Yeah. Uh, yes, heroes. And then he, he, he claps on, our, on, the, uh, on the shoulder as he looks at you, Freddy. Heroes, no doubt saviors of the of green est um you'll just need to defend it until our forces can arrive to take over shouldn't be more than 15 minutes behind you i suppose enough said on our turn starts to walk out all right and then he uh he calls behind you and, and says I'll, I'll be sending them as soon as as soon as i can get them assembled on gets out into the courtyard and yells up at knock knock my friend we have a mission. You get to swing your axe at more things. He says we it have in to Orcish. go through the tunnel again. He says it in Orcish. <laughs> Wait, why am I not on the grid? There. You get to swing your axe at things. I do enjoy that. I would have liked to go out the front gate, but I guess back under the ground. It's gonna be my first time seeing a good sun sunrise as a as a you know a top dweller, but whatever, missing it. Sun rising. Uh, that was is a there, question. Is is the tunnel is that? only one path like that leads directly to that river yes. section? I believe the sun is like yeah about to rise yeah. Yeah, it's it's uh 
creeping dawn light, so it's still a uh, dim light out. Ondar stops to pray. Would it be more of a straight shot to go out the front? It's the keep is still it's surrounded. Besieged. Oh, okay. So yeah, I mean, if you yeah. want to fight like a whole bunch of creatures at once, you can. <laughs> Two hundred kobolds just to get to a mill. Yeah, why not? That's, that, that, yeah, yeah, that's not that much combat advantage. You'll be fine. Well, you know, I they mean, have a tendency the top, to hit me. Now, if, oh, only, if only we had a fireball, <laughs> yeah. take up a lot uh, of them at once. Oh, we are level oh, nine now. Yeah, Shouldn't level you have three. that spell? <laughs> Don't carry much AOE with me at this point. I'm gonna need you to step your game up. <laughs> are you uh, are you going through the tunnel then? Right now? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. We all decided to go through the tunnel. All right. I think. Yeah. Let me Let's go. This all that wasted up just go up on the rampart fire out uh, or uh, use use firebolt 600 times <laughs> grind it out bring some crush bone belts in <laughs> we have a we didn't have a chance to take a short rest in there, did we? Uh, short no. rest would be an hour so no you wouldn't okay yeah I'm not. I'm not any more happy about that than you. <laughs> <laughs> so you. Uh, I don't think any of us are. You are at the exit of the underwater of the underground uh, sewer secret entrance. If you look at the um, green nest map. So that was Brother Co that came back and relayed the message about the uh, mill being under attack. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Andar will ask him, where is this mill, Brother Co? To the west, not too far. Let us make haste. Gondor calls for aid. <laughs> <laughs> Lead the way. Yeah, you guys can move move about the map freely. Uh, okay. I, don't I didn't know if we had to... Uh, The, the big orc. I don't know what actually on the map is the mill. <laughs> so I'm just heading it's west. To the west. Right yeah, now. just go west. Yep. Yeah. Okay. I just up. don't know which one it actually like hold up on right this there. map which one it which one it is. Hold up right there, please. Okay. Oh jeez, I can't get this. How many Bardic inspirations do I have left? I don't remember how many of those I used either. Um, normally there's like a little ticker where I can like check how many I'm using. How many? But do I don't you, know if that's how many do you get? Three. At really least two, because Ko and I both have one. <laughs> but yeah. that's okay. There we go. Okay, so then I then I might be out. I uh, I would say. Yeah, because you gave you gave Bardic inspiration to Brother Ko and Noct, and I'm not sure if they used one. I have not used mine as of yet, but uh, it's ten minutes. It would have. This has all been happening pretty fast. It might still be active. I'll I'll yeah, roll less. just for simplicity's sake that it's still active. You you'll have one Bardic inspiration left. Okay, cool. Thank you. All right, so, um, let's see. Are we with Brother Co, or is he back with us? Uh, you're all stopped right there. At which point? Let's see here. Yeah, I can't seem to find my uh, token. Brother Ko? Tanak. He's still over in the, uh, at the exit. Yeah, back by the river. South, east of the keep. By the keep? There we go. 
I must have been moving, Brother Co. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Pause <laughs> <pretty weird. laughs> oh, that way. Oh. Uh, okay. I have no control of them. Might be. Why do you keep moving? I said stop moving, guys. <laughs> okay, so. Um. There we go. What are these? I need to get this set up. Okay, so, um, rounding the corner, you guys actually see a bunch of cultists take note of you. Roll initiative. Where am I? I can't see the, uh, for the portraits. You're right back here. Else, like I'm the one behind the building. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right there. Gotcha. Is Brother Co supposed to be with us, or way out there? Yeah, put there. He kept moving. So I don't have control of my character. Um. Just and I was moving him. Do you have control now? Nope. Who's moving them? That was me. If you click on your... Uh, yeah, I, I did and nothing's happening. Like it should have a black circle. I have a white circle. Just because it's, quote, your turn that you get the white circle? But yeah, when you click on me, you should... that's weird. Alright, uh, I cleared you as the owner. Take ownership of your... Okay. Uh, I probably got to put it back on the Remember everyone, this is uh, still in beta, so this does not indicate it. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm trying to do a lot of shit right now, too. Try to move him now. Anything? No, I don't see it. Yeah, yeah. Huh. I can grab him. Click on him. I did. He might be disconnected. My anybody else? Can you... Man. Can you uh, actually, oh no, yeah, you rolled. I was gonna say, in normal Fantasy Grounds, sometimes I have a friend who, yeah, he's kind of connected, but like his rolls don't show up and stuff when he loses control right. like that. That's what I was saying. Yeah. How somebody's moving me. <laughs> so we're all possessed. I don't know what the hell's going yeah, on. I'm, uh, I'm gonna relaunch Fantasy Grounds here. Yeah, I think right. you might be disconnected. Yeah. You think you're here, but you're not really. FGU's no quarters for that. see your back. Can you uh, move them or no? Uh, it's still loading on my end. Okay. It is definitely slow today, that's for sure. Yeah. Probably getting ready to push an update or something. Or a whole bunch of people are playing at once. Everyone's off work. I think a bunch of people might be playing, yeah. 
what else is there to do during COVID but play D&D, <laughs> <laughs> right? And what was the map called? Uh, I'll drop it. Okay. Drop it like it's hot. There we go. Ooh, ooh. Oh, wow, I'm way out there. Yeah. yeah. Yep, okay, I can move now. Okay, we're good now. All right. So, everybody roll initiative. They did. Get the monsters. Did I roll? Yeah. Okay. You got five. Lovely. And we start with Not. So you see, uh, as you guys you are, have seen. Oh, sorry. Yep, as you are uh, crossing the the uh, the way to, to to get to the mill, um, you you go around some of these houses and you uh, you see some humanoid figures take notice of you and, and they kind of go Rah! over there. No oh, crap. Uh, and then I get back in here and uh, wish I could be one. Well, Go here and ready in action to uh, to chop a cultist if they get within range and tell everybody. Uh, maybe if we bring them to us, that would be advantageous in front of that there on that. That is what I'm gonna do. Cause right. boy, do I not want to dash up there and get hit five times. <laughs> Ondar, you were up. Uh, how many were there not? Yeah, oh, about five, maybe six. I'm not yep. more than one hand. All right, so. Under is going to, uh, as a bonus action, he will ask Torn to grant him some uh, protection. He will cast Chilled Faith on himself. Okay. And then he will step out here where they can see him and look at them and go prepare to face justice. And he will ready an action to attack any creature. Any 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 cultist or cobalt that comes within attacking range. Can you ready an action after you act on your turn? It, it was a bonus action. I'm readying an action. But yeah, you you he could ready an action, but bonus action a different thing. Okay. Bonus action is a bonus action. You have, <laughs> yeah, on your no, turn, but... you have an action, a move, and any bonus action that may be available. I know, but it, uh... That's up to you. If you yeah. want to say, no, you can't do that, No, I'm, I'm, I'm good with it. I don't have it. a ready to, I'm, I'm good with it. I'm just trying to, um, learn the rules at the same time that we're playing. You know what I mean? Because, like, yeah. the, the way 4E works is you can only ready an action if you haven't acted on your turn yet. And once you act on your turn, you can't ready an action. Well, I haven't really taken an action. I've taken a bonus yeah. action. Gotcha. Okay, so... Um, anything else? No, nope, he's gonna stand there with a sword ready and his shield up and kind of grin it out. Okay. Get on your turn. There we go. Tonight. Yep, sorry. Alright. So I'm just gonna peek around the corner here. Yes, yes. And uh, we're going to go with a ray of frost here. And that is a miss. Okay, uh, then I'm just going to dip back around the corner. take a dash action and sprint up there and uh, that'll be all. Alright. Cultist 14 is going to let's see how far. It's 
going to have to double move. Dash. 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. Okay. All right, and then Qualamir, you're up. Qualamir, now seeing that the cultist has come up, uh, he'll take out his book and he'll, he'll mutter a few words and then cast Sacred Fire. Sorry. I had to step away. Cultist fails. Dealing seven damage. So do I get to apply my ready to action on this guy? Yes. Sorry, I just didn't play. Then I'll swing with my long sword. And piss <laughs> off. <laughs> Thanks, Torm. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Alright, Cultist 12. Um, we'll see Brother Cole coming from the distance, and he will have to. Uh, what's that called? Dash. Try to round the corner. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. That's all he will do. Freddie Bloomington. My turn ready with a 5? Okay. Yes. Um, I forget what my uh, pick was for second level as my first level spell. I got Tasha's Knees, Laughter, Healing Word, Heroism. I forget my fourth. So your, for first level, you picked Dissonant Whispers, Healing Word, Heroism, and Tasha's Hideous Laughter. For second, you picked Fairy Fire. Oh, that's right, Fairy Fire. Okay, sweet. Um, then I'm going to target the uh, cultist that's right next to Ondar and uh, viciously mock him. What do you say to him? Your dragon god's a pussy. <laughs> He fails, so he looks uh, he looks visibly shaken from that, taking 1v4 psychic damage. And uh, he will get a disadvantage on the He has PTSD starting from it. was an effect already built into the spell that dropped on the It It didn't load, I have to make that. My dragon dropped it. Oh, whoops. Anything else, Freddy? Uh, I'd like to move two squares to the left. And then end my turn. Alright. Cultist 13 is going to move forth at Ondar. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. So dash. And then Cultist 11. I'll also go forward. 5, 10, 15. 50 for dash. Cultist 9 will dash. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40 to right there. Knocked, you're up. Right. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, get between them and the casters, hopefully. And. It's much appreciated. Well. I can be a meat shield for not much longer, but a little longer. <laughs> um, hmm. eh, screw it. Yeah, I'll recklessly attack because I'm hoping you guys will do good work. Uh, post this attack, swinging buck wild. That is a hit. Uh, it's a dirty twenty. But... All right, big damage. Come on, do it good. Ooh, hey. It was a run for a real long time, and I was about to be very unhappy. <laughs> he is very dead. Yeah, uh, I bring that big axe down and, and cleave him uh, from the bad kind of in half. And prepare myself for 13 to hurt me greatly if nobody stops him. That's going to be me. All right, Ondar, you're up. Uh, yeah, so he uh, will... Um... Try to uh, end the life of Cultist 13.
That is a hit. Wow. Four damage. <laughs> Don't judge. To knock. Okay. Um, I can move into the square of Cultus Nine, right? Since he's down. Yes. Oh, there was another one that was down? Yep, uh, Freddy th killed him. Okay. But I killed him? Yeah, with um, your uh, vicious... Then I would like to actually not do that. <laughs> <laughs> you say I, I killed him? Yeah. With your uh, vicious oh. mockery, you dealt three damage and he was down. Damn. All right. You fucking were so mean. He died. <laughs> yeah. His heart just stopped. <laughs> it just—it was absolutely wrecked him. His will to live was gone. <laughs> he said he looked fat in those shoes, and he just stopped <laughs> living. Okay. Uh... Words do hurt. <laughs> Sticks and stones, man. Not all giant axes to the that face. That is a hit. Seven damage. Nice. He cries out. Ah! Brother Cole, you're up. Well, he's gonna expose the call to straight in front of him, of course. Close some of the gap here. And that's gonna be his turn. You have 40 squares of movement. All 40? Yep. Dang. From your because monk, monk, right? Yep. Because yeah, monk, yeah. I forgot about that. Monk's run crazy. Yeah. Okay, that's all now. I'll get Holtus number 13 and cast Sacred Flame. Alright. Do question, do barbarians get movement speed bonuses in this version? I'm not sure. I haven't read that far what, ahead. What barbarian did you take? Oh yeah, you're not level 3 yet. Uh, there's a chance if you take the Totem Warrior, um, you can choose aspect of the beast, like the elk, then you get an additional 15 feet of Okay. So it's it's an option in one of his um like subclasses. Correct. Yeah. Gotcha. Otherwise no. Okay. Alright, so Qualamir casts What did you cast? I cast Sacred Flame and okay. Mr. Sacred Face. Sa Sacred Flame and he succeeds on his save. Cultus ten is going to turn his attention to the new assailant, Brother Ko, and flash his Shimitar. And he misses. So we go to Freddy. All right, uh, I can't say what, uh, what are the HP bars on people. Like, who, who's, who's, is anybody seriously hurt? I'm at eight. Ah, yeah, it's an it's 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 probably the worst looking at, at half-ish, but yeah, Tanak okay. and Brother Cole right. are probably the worst for wear right now. Gotcha. Although everybody's um. kind of struggling. <laughs> More importantly, is running low on the resources that make us good at fighting. Yes. Um, screw it. All right, so I'm gonna shift one, or not shift, but like move one to the left. Okay. Next to um, knocked. I'm gonna cast a little spelly spell on his back and uh, give him heroism again. Okay. And that will take right. your last spell slot. You can go ham if he wants. Um, and then I will give Bardic Inspiration to, to Brother Ko. Alright. And that will take your... I start your... humming a little tune. 
pull out a cowbell, start clanking along. <laughs> hey, I need more cowbell. And that will take up your last bardic inspiration. And that's it for my... I can move again. I'm going to back up one square. Okay. And then that end my turn. All right. Cultus 13 is going to attempt to swing at Ondar again. You're not again, but he's going to attempt to swing at Ondar, and that misses. Don't forget to use the Bardic Inspiration, guys. Yeah. Cultist 11 will also attempt to swing at Ondar. And he misses, crashing on the shield. Knocked, you're up. All right. Um, step to here, and... Let's, yeah, screw it. Recklessly attack. You, you put your temp HP on, right? I did. Yeah, I'm at, I'm at three. Okay, sweet. Yeah, screw it. Recklessly attack. Got to try to kill this friggin' guy. And that is an 18 for a hit. All right, All right. And let's do big damage. Come on, ah. Dealing back five and forth, damage. back and forth. Fell well, that's game. enough. <laughs> Felling him with a blow to the gut. It wasn't a good hit, but it got there. <laughs> um, and then step up to uh, hopefully draw some fire off of the casters. Yeah. All right, Ondar. Just going to swing again. Ooh. That is a miss. Ooh. Inspiration? Uh, no, you're not the only one who has it, is it? Nope. No, it's Brother Co. Yeah. yeah. No, the, the three of you have it. Co, Knocked, and... Oh, yeah, Co has it twice off. right now for some reason. Oh, whoops. <laughs> oh, I used I feel... one the first time. Oh, Ondar had it. I do have one. Yeah, Ondar, Knocked, and Co all have oh, my three inspirations. Okay. Well, it, it went away. When did Ondar get it? You gave it to me yesterday, or the last session. Yeah, wouldn't that be over by now then? Oh, I don't know how he's working inspiration. It lasts for 10 minutes, from, and we've just been running around this whole time. From okay. last session, I have Bardic Inspiration on Brother Cole and Knocked. No, no, no. Inspiration, not not Bardic Inspiration. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, gotcha. Okay. Inspiration. Regular old Inspiration. Gotcha. Right. I do not have Bardic Inspiration on me. But you have Inspiration. Gotcha. Oh. I have an inspiration die that you've granted me, and I have yes. not used it yet. I choose not to use it. Okay. Oh, yeah, I, I, I would I, I'd I, pocket I, that one too. <laughs> then, gotcha. then I got you two mixed up. My apologies. Can can I put my bardic inspiration on on Dar instead of Brother Co? Um, I'll allow it. Thank you. Well, I will use that die if I can. Yes. What is it? Uh. Plus D6, D6 that you can add to any D20 you roll. What did I roll? You rolled a 10. Oh, a 10. So that would be that a gives you, that's a pretty good chance. I've seen Instead some low rolls hit. <laughs> to the D6, right? Yeah. 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 I think it's an 11. Oh, shit. Max. That's 16 versus... Uh, what is it? Armor class, right? Yep, that's a hit. Yeah. That's a hit? Okay. Nine damage. He is down and dying. Nice. Hey, um, under our world. Thank you for that. I appreciate it, Ryan. Yeah. Thank you. I'll strut around here, glaring at this other cultist. Tell him prepare to die. All right. To knock. Excellent. I feel like I'd have line of sight on that cultist from there, correct? Along the house line? Yes, you can see him. All right, let's go for another firebolt. All right. Ooh, that is a fumble. So what do we got on that? Uh, it did not roll a fumble effect. 
So it All just right. misses wide. <laughs> okay. Well, then I'm just gonna chuck around the corner here. And then my turn. All right, Brother Cole, your turn. He's gonna bring up his spear. Take a swipe. That is a hit. He's gonna follow up with uh, another one of his famous left hooks here. The haymaker. That is another hit. Did that roll? Yeah, you got a hit. Yep. Oh, uh, the damage, my man. No, I don't see the damage. Okay. Oh, there Four it is. damage. <laughs> he is down and dying. I love that a left hook there. <laughs> <laughs> Right. I, I say right. I can o I can only maintain my spell for another forty five minutes or forty five seconds or so. If we're gonna go, we should get going now. Yes, yeah, that was a that was a quick fight, and you are uh, still on your way to the west mill. Try downward. Try and poke my head around this corner. Oh. All right, well, those would be the three gentlemen we saw from the Cape. Then let's go. Great. Not even hiding. <laughs> All right. Yeah, they are. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you can if see we're doing them. that. <laughs> yes, yeah, so you can see them from across the way. Um, putting putting, uh, putting flame to some straw that they have uh, put around this, the mill which is a uh, rectangular barn about 40 feet long and 20 feet wide with an at attached exterior office. Um, the long side of the building away from the stream has barn doors and a two-part door, and two short walls have windows. All the openings are closed, um, from what you can tell. Could everybody... Let's see. Could everybody make me a perception check? Or wait, no, it's not perception. It's... Uh, where am I? Everybody make me an insight or performance check. I'd like to roll a performance one, please. All right. Yeah, let's do the performance. I'm slightly better. Not that it matters. Not with that roll. It doesn't matter. <laughs> okay, so Tanakh and Andar... Um, you are looking at this, and it looks like they're kind of putting on more of a show than actually trying to start the the mill on fire. The this flame... may be a trap, friends. Yeah, they're they're make they're definitely making a demonstration of starting a fire, but it's for show. A few fires are burning around the building, but they could be extinguished easily. Yeah, I don't know what they're doing here, but uh, I don't think they're actually trying to burn the mill down. They should still they're die. On dark, continues moving forward. They're trying to draw us out. It's got to be a trap. They want the food just as much as we do. Come to knock more evil to slay. I meant not. Excuse me. I recommend yeah. severe caution, friends. It's a big open field. I think we could see them coming if they were. Can we see anything down the uh, pathway, the north and south road? I'm not saying caution for us. I'm saying caution for the keep. If they're trying to draw us out, then they have a plan for the our aid that's coming. Oh, shit. Okay, so... Uh, getting to this intersection, looking north and south, um, you see the commotion of the raid um, still happening. Um, some of the kobold creatures running around carrying loot. Um, raiders still going through some of the houses. Uh, greatly diminished in numbers, though. Um, there is not a force around um, that has taken notice of you or that you uh, you you feel you need to take care of. Um, the only th the only force that you see worth note is in front of the mill. Okay, can I identify that creature? Sure. The one that's closest to us? 
Go ahead, roll that nature. Be... What roll? Nature. You see that this is a dwarf wearing robes. It's an acolyte. So it is a caster has some spells. Okay. So I mean, if we're still moving, Andar's going to continue moving forward. Yeah, do they notice us? Shall we, shall we split the party? Some people go back to warn our aid. Like, four people stay here and take out these guys? Sure. Fine. Well, I'm the fastest, so I should probably go warn. Is that the monk? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no one will be able to keep up with you. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna <clears throat> head back to the... Oh, I would have to get the keys, one and I... I'm assuming we relapsed the tunnel. I kicked it down. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's no, there is no more no locking there. that yep. problem. The door is open <laughs> on its hinges. Okay. Yeah, so should I just move my character back then, or? Yeah, you you guys control your character's movement. Okay. Uh, yeah, you'll outpace anybody, but I do feel bad about sending him off alone. Right. John feels bad about right. sending him off alone. <laughs> Hold up one second. Never good to have a solo monk. Nope. That's how they die. <laughs> but I'm hoping I can outrun, so... <laughs> you know what? Fair point. <laughs> Disengage and run. Mm -hmm. Key blast to run faster if you have to. Alright, so when you turn this corner. Oh, whoops, not that acolyte. Move the wrong guy. When you turn the corner, you see um, some forms um, moving along the, uh, the uh, houses right here because you weren't sneaking, weren't, uh, did not make a stealth roll or anything, and they take notice of you. Roll initiative. Okay. All right, so we go to cultist seven, who is going to do this. Just do this. <clears throat> okay, so cultist seven is going to walk around, um, trying to stoke some more fires. And Brother Cole, it's your turn. So they have noticed me. Yes, they have noticed you. Okay. Because you were just running. You didn't uh, stealth or anything. Sure. Um, so where, where's the secret tunnel entrance? I don't exactly want them to find it. I that will... big, like, U-shaped bend. This circle that I just drew by the keep to the southeast, that's where the uh, entrance is. Okay. Um. Well, I am just gonna do a full on dash here. Alright. It's like three miles or something, right? I can get right there. Yep. Trying to kind of break their line of sight of me between the trees and all of that. All right. And you go into go. the trees, can't you? Is that would slow, trees? That would slow you down. Yeah, that's what I'm assuming. Um. Yeah. So that's that's all I'm gonna do for now. Hope for all the right. best. Andar, you're up. 
when you're moving towards these bad guys. And we are in initiative order now, so your movement counts. Okay. So there's a regular movement. Um, see anything other than these three? Um, you still see the outside of the uh, of the mill, just like normal. All right, I'll um, dash. So there. All right, now make me a perception check. All right. Standing in front of a barn. Yep, you're standing in front of a barn. <laughs> and that they're about to die. All right, so Acolyte 2 will attempt to get around the bend. All right, 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30. And he will use command. So you must succeed on a wisdom saving throw. Okay, okay. Pretty high. What's, what's the DC for that? Yes, you are able to su to su bleh. You succeed on your saving throw, and the spell has no effect. As these oh, yeah. yeah. So he up, uh, he commands. Figure. Yeah, he commands halt. <laughs> And you feel the magic kind of surge through you, but you push through it. And that will take his turn. Uh, Qualamir. Qualamir will walk up his. And still just be. Yeah, just be out, so he'll take the dodge action, and then that'll be his turn. All right. Now, Acolyte C um, <clears throat> will take notice of Andar approaching, and then he will move to the side. 5, 10, 15, 20. Right here. And then he will call out, Come on and get it, then, eh? Cultist 8 will turn around. And then uh, stand in front of the barn doors and then wave you on Ondar like uh, the same thing. Come on and get it. Guard three. Let's see. We'll take dash. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. To knock. All right. First time I've really experienced this line of sight stuff. It's kind of cool. Yeah, I love it. I love the line of sight stuff. Okay, so I'm going to cast a uh, magic missile. All right. Hmm. Classic. And that is a leveled spell, so make sure you tick off the spell slot. And you have three, I think? Yeah, three darts. Okay. All right, two damage to each. Anything else? Oh, I'm talking without pressing the button. Um, <laughs> it, so doesn't that work where I would roll for each missile, um, not one for all three? Did magic, I mess that up, sort of? Magic missile auto, auto hits in 5e. Well, right, but I, wouldn't I roll the damage for each missile? You three would roll damage for each missile because they're from different yeah. sources. Right. Unlike a, unlike a fireball where it's a single source dealing multiple damage, so. But that's totally up to you, obviously. 
So this is a, uh, a mechanics thing for Fantasy Grounds. So you targeted all of them, and then you did the damage, so it'll do the damage to all of them. If you want to do it individually, you wrote, you do the damage oh, for each individual. That's why. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Can I take that back and uh, do, the, um, do the damage individually? Sure. So Cultist 7 will take the 2. And then I'll take away the damage for the other ones, so you can roll uh, for those individually. You can also click and drag that damage icon onto the onto the tokens on the map and it'll do them individually. Yep. There you go. Three damage to Acolyte. Three damage <laughs> to the Cultist. Alright. Um, <clears throat> as DM, is there anything you want me to do here? Concerning no. my... Uh, Oh, yeah, wow, yeah, 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 I got gotcha. you. <laughs> I completely forgot about that. Oh. Okay. Table, Wild Magic Surge. Go ahead and roll on that. Thank you for reminding. I completely forgot that you used that. Please, yeah. Please be good. Please be good. Please be good. Please be good. <laughs> Turn all enemies in missile. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out where the Wild Magic... Uh, should I just roll it? Me? You polymorph one enemy into a uh, Tarask. Oh, and right. I didn't hit. You can roll out directly on the table. So if you go to your powers, that Wild Magic Surge, it has a table so that you'll automatically roll on that. So a 14 is... You cast Confusion centered on yourself. Oh, it's... If I roll a 1 on the D20, that's how I get the uh, wild magic table. Isn't that how that works? But you used yeah. Tides of Chaos. So I as DM can make you roll in order to get Tides of Chaos again. Oh. Anytime before you regain the use of this feature, the DM can have you roll on the wild magic surge table immediately after you cast a sorcerer spell of first level or higher, which you then regain the use of Tides of Chaos. So that's what I did. Oh. Okay, so then I actually had to roll the, uh, not not the d20, but the second roll there, the 93 is what that would be. Okay, so you your size increases by one size category for the next minute. <laughs> <laughs> so you grow in size. He's uh, thick! He's that all, boy's thick! He's all smoked. He's a thick boy for the next minute. Damn, he's thick! All right. All right. Um... So I'm in a fifi full fum over behind uh, this house here. <laughs> you mean that I'm shed? Okay. Let me, uh, yeah, let let me get your size. Okay, there we go. <laughs> he's a big boy. Ungar has no clue because he's glaring at these three. Yes. All right. Um, then I end my turn here. All right. Guard two will attempt to catch Brother Cole with a dash. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 5, 10, 15, 20, knocked. Just gonna dash. We got 5, 10, 20. Yeah, to here yep. and hope that I get hit over. Ondar, if they're gonna do damage, I think. As I run by to knock, I say, "Oh, you know that big." <laughs> um, <laughs> knocked. Roll perception for me. Yes. I really wish you could like pull tabs out of your character sheet, so right. you don't have to keep switching. Yeah. That's something I've wanted from this program forever. Uh, so fourteen. Yeah, I, I wonder what more features they're gonna they're going to include. I would really love for the line of sight to include your like vision. So like if you have dark vision, you can see that yeah. at 120 feet. Or like uh, uh, if you just have regular vision, it'll cut off on the map for however many feet. You can actually drag your the shield from like your whatever skill down into the bar at the bottom. Yeah, I, I used to have a setup for that, but. This one's reset me a few times. I got tired of putting it back down. Uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, you're standing in front of a barn. Freddy, you're up. 
It's a good barn. <laughs> Looks like we're all moving up, so I will as well. Uh, basically six squares straight to the left, and then one up. It's like my last movement is a diagonal, essentially. Yeah. Gotcha. Uh, let's see, I believe Vicious Mockery's range is 60 feet. Not 100% certain. Vicious Mockery range is 60 feet. Okay, so they should be in range. Um, nope. No, they're out. Yeah, feet. they're they're out. They're outside. 95 Darn. feet. All right. Uh. Well. Can I use the dash action then to move some more? Sure. Yeah. Take it, move another six up. And now you're at 65. From Much. then. Okay. End my turn. All right. That takes us to guard one who will chase after brother Cole. Fine. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55 with the dash action. Cultist 7 is going to uh, kind of reach back and kind of smack the barn door. Come on, I eh? Come on! Incredibly suspicious. Very suspicious. <laughs> Extremely suspicious. Brother Cole. Wait. He's There's nervous. nothing terrible in here at all. He's just nervous. So he is going to spend a key point here and use Step of the Wind to okay. disengage. So he does not take an attack of opportunity. And he is going to go and uses action for dash. Run, Co, run. Damn, man. I'm telling you, man. Run like the wind. And uh, that will end his turn here. All right. Very well done. Ondar, you're up. We'll continue walking forward. All right. So, are you ready to meet whatever god it is you worship? He, will... he uh, replies back to you, I'm not so sure you, I'm going to be the one meeting my gods today. Get them, boys! Now, take a ready to action. All right. Same as always. That'll end his turn. Okay. I'm gonna get some stuff set up real quick again. The ants are fitting to come out of the anthill. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's cluing you off to that. Yeah, nothing. I don't know. Fire ants nest. I feel like this is gonna be another time. That'd be great to have fireball. Yep, have fireball. But wait, I'll be in the middle of that. Sorry, Melee. You know, <laughs> <that's a fireball. laughs> sorry, <laughs> Melee. <laughs> All he says Roll is sorry, good. Melee. Like, half that damage. Some of, some of you may die, but that is a sacrifice I'm, I'm willing to make. <laughs> okay. Okay, we are good. All he sees is if you're not in the party, his XP goes up a little oh, bit. So. Yeah, I see how that works. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Acolyte 2. Let's see. No, you won't be able to see. It's going to chase after with a dash action. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And he's able to see you. He calls after you and he's like, hey, get back here. Qualamir, you're up. 
Palmer will walk up his 30 feet. Six. And then he'll look at the Acolyte 1 and cast Sacred Flame again. Alright. He succeeds on his saving throw. And that'll be his turn. Alright, Acolyte 1 will use command on you, Ondar. Roll me a wisdom save. Wisdom save. He shouts out, um, lay down your weapon. You are able to easily resist the effects. Ariel's back. Blow me. <laughs> <laughs> Cultist 8 will now rush forward at you, Andar, and he will attempt a shimitar attack. Ready to action. Ahead here. Uh, yep. And he misses, so you get that ready to action. Meanwhile, he he makes a cutting Crit. yep he makes a cutting slash missing missing you wide as you sidestep and plunge your sword into his side for a critical hit, dealing eleven oh, damage. Let him run in, <laughs> and he is right. fucking Stab. dead. You just runs into neck your sword. You just, hold, you just hold it out. He falls onto it. <laughs> yeah. All right. I come running it. Held it out about throat high, and he just ran right in. Guard three will run at Brother Ko. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And Tanakh, you're up, you big boy. Twice the size, okay. twice the health pool, right? Yeah. No, only his size changed. <laughs> no, I know. <laughs> Now you're just a big target. Does that do anything for me? No, it just changes your size. <laughs> I got if somebody tried right. to drag you off, <laughs> you're heavy. <laughs> All right. Um, I guess I'm just going to peek around this corner here. It's hard to tell distance when I'm this side. Uh, I think that's 30 feet right there. That's 70. No, 30 feet that I traveled. Oh, gotcha. I just saw that you were targeting Ackley. Okay. Sure, that was 30 feet because you were right here, right? So 5, 10, 15, 20. Yeah, that was only like 20 feet. Okay. There you go. Right there? Yep, that's nice. okay. Oof. I mean, really? Oh, oh. All right, your balance is lost and you fall prone. <laughs> <laughs> Not used to his size. Oh, three giant. <laughs> he 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 didn't just get bigger; he turned into a giant baby. So like his oversized head just like topples over because he's not used to the size. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, at least if I'm prone, they have dis disadvantage on me, right? Yeah, for ranged attacks, yes. Ranged attacks, yeah. If we run up and stab you, it's less than ideal. <laughs> All right. Um, I guess that's pretty much the end of my turn there. Uh, right. Unless I can try to get back up. Uh, you used all your movement. Okay, guard two will chase after brother Cole. And he should be able to get right here, I believe. All right, knocked. Oh, still incredibly suspicious of this entire situation. Have a javelin. I throw a javelin at back like one. Oh man, it was like teetering to 20, teetering. <laughs> Fucking 14. I mean, it's a hit, but it was 
could have critted. Damn you. That is a hit. All right. Four. Four whole damage. Four damage. Um, that's... Yeah, that, that's gonna be it. I'm not feeling confident about there not being 50 guys waiting somewhere. <laughs> uh, so that'll be me, I think, yeah. All right, Freddy. Uh, move into uh, 60 foot range of the, uh, the Acolyte as well, since we seem to be focusing him. There you go. I used uh, 20, okay. 20 squares. 20 squares? Okay, that works. Uh, target feet. him, and uh, only damage I got is Vicious Mockery. So uh, let's hit him. All right. You whisper words about his he's, mother. Say he's a dwarf, right? <laughs> yeah, he's a dwarf. You, you look like you've been on the surface your whole life. <laughs> he he looks at you extremely pissed, shrugging off the attack. No. Oh. Can't believe you'd say that. But that was clever. <laughs> Ending your turn, or...? Uh, yeah. Oops. I don't have any bonuses, so yeah, I have my turn. Okay, so we go to guard one, who will also chase after brother Cole, and he will be able to get right there. Whoops, did not want to do that. Suddenly, you see some figures jump down from inside the building. Hooting and hollering, giving some battle cries as they charge out of the barn doors. 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30. And this is where we are going to have to end. We had knock and prestidigitation, start the fire. <laughs> Teach him a lesson. We'll burn the building down with that minute, guys. Come on. How much do you want to win? <laughs> Gotta keep him inside. <sighs> All right. It's a trap! A lot of boys. <laughs> Man, right, one man. one fireball or shatter. Yeah. We need some AOE, guys. Yep, yeah, there's a lot this of part, them in party there. You guys are party desperately needs AOE. <laughs> low on resources. <laughs> so I I actually have to like roll on a table for like random encounters based on what you guys are doing, and you don't go anywhere sneaky. <laughs> So it's like a, a really high chance that you get random encounters. That's why Brother Cole was cornered. Yeah, yeah, I figured, but I think he's just gonna more wanna warn the guys so they don't get laddered and then yeah. lose the keep that way, so. Gotcha. But you're fast as fuck, so you're definitely getting away. We'll see if they can see you uh, disappear into the tunnel, though. Yeah, we'll see. All right, so there we have it. Session three in the books, ending a little bit after the agreed end time, but very happy uh, you guys showed up again. Hope you had fun. I don't know. Today, yeah, today was kind of tough. Today was kind of tough. I uh, I woke up kind of rough. Didn't quite feel on top of my game, but thank you for showing up, everybody. Thanks for having us. Yep, until yeah, next time. pretty well tapped, so we'll yeah. see what happens. Yeah, we will see. I don't know. Let's find is... out who lives and who dies. Yep, this is kind of uh, scaring me a little bit, if I'm completely honest. That'd be fine. It'd be fine. But What's the worst that could happen? Andara has, like, all this shit yet. Oh, down about, like, ten hit points. <laughs> <laughs> all right, till next yeah. Monday. I mean, I'm sitting here like a sleeping Snorlax, so, you know. <laughs> Alright, catch you guys later. Yep, catch All you right, later. Guys. Right. Have a good week. Oh. Alright. Thank you to everybody who tuned in. Kind of a rough session. But we got through it, you know? Can't be on your game all the time, every time. Still playing, still having fun. We will see you next time.
exactly what happens to the party. I don't know. This is this this seems kind of dangerous right here. It seems very dangerous. We will see. Remember to follow my socials. I got YouTube, Twitter, my own Facebook page, Twitch, all that good stuff. Give me a follow, like, subscribe, whatever whatever you're feeling if you like the content, if you if you like what I'm doing, if you like the guys. Um, give me your thoughts, you know, what you think of every of all this. Um, join me on my uh, DM prep sessions. I'm trying to stream a little bit more often. You'll be able to see me there. It's great to have you guys. Always, always, always a pleasure. Very gratuitous for you guys that show up. Thank you. Until next time.